Okay, so in this episode, we're going to add a third party library. So we're going to go to the download it. And then once it's downloaded, we're going to extract it and we're going to add to our, our KiCad library. Right click and extract all. Extract. Uh, I usually try to keep the libraries in one spot so it's easy to uh, access. To have a shortcut, I go to my C drive and then on their Sysmac PCB libraries, KiCad. Part of I have. Okay, so so I'm gonna call. I'm gonna make a new folder, and Spark Phone. I'm gonna call it Spark Phone. Okay, and then here on the downloads, I'm gonna take this out. All right, so I need this and this. So I'm gonna go Control B, and then I'm gonna Preferences, Manage Symbol Libraries. Then I'm gonna add. Okay, so now I should see a Spark form. I'm gonna do Symbols, and then you have. Let's pick one. Uh, let's see. Fuse, let's, let's do that one. Fuse, then click OK. So it's always a good idea, so it not to name like the default KiCad library. So you see in my case, I put EE now underscore connectors. See this one, they use a Spark phone dash fuse and so forth so now let's go to footprint and let's add let's go to spark phone symbols oh no spark phone footprints and we did fuse select okay so now I have the two libraries in there. So now if I go to my schematic and click add symbol, I should see spark phone. Where is the spark phone? Spark phone fuse. And then within this, I should see you know, some they have multiple. So let's say I did click there. I double click. Okay, now let's use the select tool. So there it's going to go to Spark from Fuse 1206. Okay, so, so if I go to my footprint, and I go tools, update from schematic, update, close. I should see that. There you go. Um, just to, let's go to the layers tab over here. Let's put the edge cuts like that one. And just let's put a square here so that we can see. Okay, let's save that. View 3D viewer. Let's do the 3D viewer. All right, so. So as you can see, 
this the connector has a a 3d connector attached to it so that's good but the fuse doesn't have any 3d all right so let's go and do it one more time so go to preferences let's recap how do you add a, a, a third-party library and this guy with it from sparkphone so you go preferences let's do with a symbol first and then we do the footprint so let's do symbol it doesn't matter the order so let's go here um I cut spark foam symbols. Uh, let's see for. I want to see what GPS have. Open that. Say OK. OK. All right, it's loading, it's doing its thing. So now we should see here that says smartphone GPS dot KiCat symbol. All right, so that's done. Now let's go preferences, footprint libraries, and click the folder. And let's go to Spark Foam Footprints GPS. And then click OK. Now let's go to our schematic. Test it out. Add a symbol. Go to Spark Foam. Part from GPS, let's see how many things are. There's two things here. There's this one and this one. All right, so let's do UM9080. Let's click that. Let's see how that looks. Go to the PCB. And the tools update from PCB. Pause. And here we go. And for move. And for move. There you go. And now let's see how. Let's save this. Let's see if it has any 3D attached to it. Okay, so that one doesn't have any. 3D. If you like this type of content, give it a like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.